Hello everyone, welcome. Um, let me tell you how I made the music for this beat. It's called Don't Go. It's in the key of A major. Uh, so we have some horns in the background. They sound like this. Oh, let's let's start here. Whoa. Okay, you get the picture. Uh, they have a nice swell, a long reverb uh, to try and fit into the mix. And we are cutting around 1K because we want the piano and other instruments to sit around there. Uh, we're also giving it some saturation, uh, quite a high drive. And that's about it. The horns come from uh, contact. Piano, uh, piano is, I think, an eight bar progression. It's quite chill. I wanted the piano to be the main focus of the track. That's why it's the one of the louder elements in the track. Uh, let's see if it's any good. Here we go. It's stock Ableton piano. I hope that had some groove and feeling. Um, we are giving it a bump of 4 dB at 300 hertz, and we are imaging it out so it's nice and wide. It should also have a stock reverb, and it has 39% glue compression. Excellent. Under the piano, we have uh, two pads, well, a pad and a choir. And they're being side chained to the piano, so they're moving out the way of the pianos to let the piano really come through. Uh, let's listen to the pad, it's made in Diva. You can see it has a big uh, padding thing around the head. It's also imaged out, uh, it's also got some saturation. A lot of saturation. We got a nice reverb from Arturia, and the reverb is side chained to the pad, so it moves out the way as well. Uh, we have glue compression to put it all together. Uh, then we have an EQ just to get, cut out the lows and sculpt the sound a bit. Okay, uh, let's see what the compression is saying. Not much compression, light compression. And then we have the choir. The choir is just taking the front bit. I didn't want the highs. Um, they were too harsh for me. Doing heavy compression on the choir. And again from contact and together, it sounds like this. Uh, we're using Dyna 1 to give it some punch, you know, to try and push it through to the mix. It's a great compressor. I'm sorry if I get a bit fast because I don't want the video to be long. I know how it is. Not everyone's got time. This is the bass. We've got a sub. The sub is just a sub. Um, using this thing from Brainworks. Subsynth and Serum and in Serum it's just a straight sine wave three sine waves uh, one two and three octaves down um, short attack um, short decay as well and German low pass filter and a little bit of drive that's the sub and this is a top the top is in Tau. Uh, this is a great little synthesizer. Sounds very analog. And we are also giving it some saturation, driving it a little bit. And 
but we're not doing anything with that. Oh my god. <laughs> Sculpting the sound a bit with the EQ and then imaging it out. We want the sub to be mono and we want the top to be nice and wide. And then we join them together by using a bass amp. We add some compression, a little bit of filter for taste, and then we sculpt the sound again finally. And it sounds like this together. It's very subtle but it makes a big difference. <coughs> the glue is just transition thingies, very easy. And the drums are made in addictive drums. Uh, what are the drums saying? Uh, very chill drums. We got a filter. Uh, giving it some boost in the lows. We got another EQ because it just needed more. And then we have compression again. Uh, this compressor is very good for drums. I think it's uh, modeled on the DBX. And that's what the drums sound like drums and bass. Drums, bass, and piano, which are the main elements of the track. And then everything else. I like this bit here. Let's go to that bit and then we'll we'll end the video. Oh no, we still got to talk about the master. Here we go. I tell you what the master. Tape saturation. Master bus compressor. Limiter to bring up the volume. Maximizer, peak limiting, and did the. But oh, we missed the best bit because I was talking, so let's go back. Okay. Okay, that's it sorry I won't keep doing that again okay anyways thank you so much for taking up eight minutes of your time I appreciate that I hope you learned something uh, it helped you and we'll see you again bye